hey guys what's up so in this lesson i'll tell you the perfect revision tips when you have left like just one month before the exam how you can optimize your strategy revise your notes and uh, what other things you can do so that you are in the best shape to crack the examination and this is presented by me roman saini if you feel these courses are helping in any way do rate review recommend and share as much as possible so when it comes to preparation like uh, preparation beforehand it is very very important for your success so it, it, you cannot start your preparation in last one month you need to have well prepared succinct notes or synopsis succinct means self sufficient brief synopsis means like the entire summary or the important highlights you need to have that before you can start this revision for those of you who do not have this i am really really sorry nothing can save you then you need to have lot of mnemonics mind maps acronyms etc ready okay for geography you can have lots of maps and uh, for like let's say history you should have timelines then you should have lot of flash cards you should know the syllabus by heart before you start for your uh, revision it can be upsc ssc banking je pmt whatever it can be then uh, you need to differentiate the topics between factual versus conceptual so whatever topics are there which are factual like very factual it can be list of national parks biosphere reserves geographical indicator tag government schemes river tributaries etc so these are very factual question and you will forget them eventually so keep it for the revision just before the examination one day before one hour before the examination and specifically it is true for mcqs because in mcqs your memory is if it is as fresh as one day then you have very high chance of marking it correctly you can forget it later nobody gives a crap then idea of questions asked areas topics which are frequently asked in examination you need to know the area of focus and you need to have that clarity in mind then third is your own goal with respect to exam do you want to pass the university examination so you don't need to have that level of intensity if you want to qualify a competitive examination then the intensity needs to be very very high so you need to have clear goals and then you have to work accordingly okay then start with uh, assessing your situation also so be calm and composed as much as possible what has happened has happened no point crying over spilt milk then ask yourself how much syllabus is covered and uh, how much do you need that so we have already covered this factual versus conceptual debate then area asked you have to focus and then the personal goals so these are the important thing you need to know so uh, if you are not calm and composed what happens is if you keep crying over the past ki i did not study then so your entire one month will also go you need to double the intensity you need to at least let's say if you are studying for 5 hours you need to do 10 hours if you are studying for 10 hours then go for 15 hours if you are reading for 15 hours go for 16 hours so you have to increase the intensity as 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 much as possible so what has whatever has happened has happened please don't cry over it there is nothing you can do about it then see how much syllabus has been covered and uh, don't start anything absolutely new mm, that is one advice i will give you so do so the see the syllabus how much it is covered if it is covered absolutely then try to like focus on those areas which need retouching and how to do this so how do you know ki which areas need retouching just give mock test as much as possible so it is the best source for that and you will be able to assess your situation and progress so this is how you will know exactly how much kitne pani mein ho aap how much water you are into so this is it then please don't start with no new resources no new books no new topics just focus on only revision because it is just one month so last one month is for smart preparation and it is not for hard work hard work will not work now okay you, whatever hard work you needed to do it should have been done earlier not now and break down the revision into as a small targets as possible don't see ki i'll revise the entire polity in one week have hourly targets okay then a lot time to different subjects according to your situation have as much balanced approach as possible so basically touch as much width as possible it is very very critical don't go into much details into a particular topic and leave the others out rightly and make sure you do all the previous year question papers otherwise your revision will be empty because there is a tendency especially in government exams that they directly ask from these previous year question papers so solve as much mock test as possible but do not start any new topic unless it is like a current affairs let's say jali kattu comes then just read about it because it did not exist earlier but as far as static portion is concerned do not start anything new then uh, group preparation uh, like uh, 
you can divide the topics and cover the allotted areas and uh, like uh, they, you can teach each other so that is also one strategy which people use it is very effective if the trust is there and if you are at same level but uh, if you are at different level his or her preparation level is much uh, slower or much faster than yours or much higher level mm -hmm. uh, then it will not work it is an effective way but uh, the trust level has to be there and you need to know that you are at the same level so group preparation can help in that scenario then you please do not have any distractions while you do this like cut out internet as much as possible no partying no like uh, going out with friends no outings because at this time uh, like you can imagine this one month is equivalent to six months of studies for those of you who do not study this one one month it is like losing six months worth of studies so focus is very critical time is very important and resources that is the time it is very scarce it is in very like limited amount so you please utilize it properly then uh, do not cut into your sleep unfortunately people think that uh, cutting into sleep uh, we will save one hour or two hour here and there but sleep like a baby uh, rest is very very important because you are already under high stress with lots of areas to study lots of areas to revise lots of weaknesses to manage so your brain is your only friend in this scenario and you need like really good quality sleep and you need to have correct night routine you need to remove notification from smartphones when going to bed anything that disturbs your sleep will disturb your peace of mind then take care of your diet avoid eating outside because like if you develop some diseases at this moment it will be very very troublesome for you and make sure you do not fall ill at under any circumstances like i have felt ill and i was admitted for 3 days so i lost 3 days worth of studies so please do not do the mistakes which i did and uh, if you have like uh, please try to like eat as natural food as possible because if you file ill at this time it will little like the one month is equivalent to six month so one day is equivalent to six days you cannot afford it at this time i'm telling you please don't fall ill under any circumstance then finally uh, like the attitude needs to be positive keep fighting and get ready to face the examination as as much as possible obviously it is better said than done but uh, try to revise all the important areas and it is only possible by solving as much mock test as possible as well as previous question papers as possible and get ready to face the exam and it is about relative performance please never lose hope under any circumstances so all the others if you have to speak in like tell one line to you all the others who are competing with you they are also in the similar situation okay nobody is ahead of you nobody is more intelligent than you nobody knows more than you it's just that it is how 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 you deploy your resources at this critical juncture and i presume you will take the right decision and thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day if you have any doubts ask in the comments below